when a user signs in, if their data doesn't exist in our database, we are adding it to the user's collection. However, we want to make this created data accessible within our app with all of these values, regardless of whether a user's just signed in or not. So the way that we're going to do that is by creating a model for our user data, where first of all, we'll request the user's data from our database based on their ID. And then in order to provide the user data across our app, we'll do what's known as deserializing that data. So we'll take that data from our document in order to create an instance of our user class. So first of all, to model our data, we want to head to models and then user.dart. And on our class, we want to specify all of the fields, all of the values that we'll have for each user. And they'll correspond to all of those fields that we've added for each user document in our database. So as you can see, bio, display name, email, ID, photo URL, timestamp, and username. There'll be just one difference, and that will be we won't include timestamp within our user class. So on our user class, we need to mark all of these values as final with their corresponding type. If we take a look at our document one more time, we see that these values are basically all strings. So we'll create a final string value that's our ID, then one for the username, then for the email, photo URL, display name, and bio. Then to indicate how a new user is going to be initialized, we'll use the user constructor, and within a set of curly braces, pass in all of these values prepended with this. So this.id, this.username, this.email, this.photo URL, this.display name, and this.bio. And once that's done, we'll create a method on this class that's going to be specifically for the deserialization that we mentioned. That will be responsible for taking a document snapshot and turning it into an instance of a user class. So we'll create a method that's prepended with the keyword factory. You can think of this as kind of a static method. So it's going to be available on our user class and it's going to be named from document. So we'll create a factory method called from document. So we can say user dot from document and it's going to take a doc, which is of type document snapshot and we'll need to import the Firestore package in order to have this type declaration. And we just want to provide instructions for how to create a user. So this will be pretty straightforward. We just want to return a created user that has an ID value that comes from doc.documentID. Or in fact, since we're storing the ID on our user, we can use just doc.id or actually since this is a map here we need to use brackets and use and select the key ID then the email will be doc and then the key email and the same for username it will be from doc username photo URL will be doc photo URL display name doc display name and bio will be doc bio. And now that we have this from document factory, we can head back to our create user and Firestore function. And we can say at the very bottom, after our if conditional, we want to pass our document snapshot to user dot from document. Now we'll need to import our user model pass in doc, and we're gonna store the returned created user in a variable called current user. Now we haven't declared this variable yet, but we're going to add it outside of our home class, and it's going to be of type user, and we won't initialize it to anything. So the benefit of this current user value is we're gonna store all of our user data and be able to pass to our different pages. We're going to be able to pass the current user data to our different pages within our page view. And one final step is to, within our conditional for create user and store, if the document doesn't exist, 
and we're creating a document, we're setting a new document on a given ID, then after we do so, we want to refetch our document and update this doc variable because that's what we're passing to from document. So instead of making this final, we'll remove that and once again execute users ref.document with the user ID and get the newly added data to update our doc variable, which will then deserialize with the from document factory. So now directly underneath we can print current user and say current user dot username to get one of its values off of it. So now when we save home.dart and maybe do a hot restart, if we check out our debug console, we should see in our log an instance of user. So the user was created based off of our model and we should see our current users associated username.